Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to fix late initialization error in your Flutter application. This error occurs when you use a variable before it is initialized to any value. Now, let me replicate the error and I will show you how to fix late initialization error in Flutter. Firstly, I will create a string variable and declare it as late. And I will pass the variable to a text widget in the content. Now, when I do a hot restart, it shows the late initialization error. The reason that this error happens is because I have created a string variable and declared it as late. And before it is initialized to any value, I use it directly in the text widget below. When a widget accepts any variable that is not initialized yet, it will throw this error. Firstly, let me describe what does late declaration means. If a variable declare as late, it's telling the compiler that this variable will be initialized later, especially after you get the response from network HTTP call. If I remove the late declaration, it is a must to provide a default value to the variable. Else, it will throw a compilation error, which the whole file can't be compiled. The differences between providing a default value and declaring late is that once you provided an initial value, no matter it's an empty string to the variable, it takes up a memory space. But for late declaration, it will only take up the memory space once it is initialized. Now I will show you how we can fix this error while declaring the variable as late. Since we are using the late variable in the build widget, which means that the variable should be initialized before build widget run. In this case, we should initialize the widget in init state. Init state is a function that runs before the whole build widget runs. Now we have assigned a value to the late variable. And when we restart the app, as you can see, the error disappear and the text value shown. For this tutorial purposes, I will assign it to a string value. While you can make API calls to initialize the value of the response to this late variable in init state. For a quick summary of this tutorial, we have created a late variable and initialized the value in init state. Just remember one thing, any variable should be initialized or you can provide a default value before it's usable in any widgets, else it will throw the late initialization error. Here comes to the end of this tutorial. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.